Welcome everybody to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus series on the Nintendo Switch. This is Napster here, bringing you another Eden run. Let's just boot it right up, see what we've got here. Alrighty, so the seed today for... The seed today, excuse me, is F1SJ7KG4. Starting off with... This nice little buddy. Uh, the Nugget, I believe, and then... Oh man, what is that trinket? Let me use my cheat sheet here. So I always forget what this trinket does here. If you ever want to look up items or trinkets, if you go to Platinum God, that is the best place to look for this. That's the website I use to look at all the items and trinkets. So if you're ever unsure about something, if I haven't explained it in one of my videos or someone else hasn't, you just don't know what it is, just go to the Platinum God website and you should be able to find it. Okay, it's not that one. So the brown nugget here will spawn a fly turret. It doesn't move and just fires at the every all the enemies. So that's what the nugget does if you're wondering. It's not super great, not my favorite. Um, and this trinket, I'm having a hard time just finding the trinkets. Because these are all items. Even after I find the trinket spots, I can't see it. There it is. Some meconium. You have an increased chance for black poops to spawn, which deal damage to enemies in the room. Ah. And even de destroying re regular poop piles sometimes will activate the black poop instead. So there you go. Use the nugget here. Hopefully get this turret to do some stuff. This is a very dangerous room. Multiple champions uh, really can be really, really dangerous, especially with two HP. If you had one, if you had started off with one HP, that'd be not very good. Speaking of stats, we have pretty okay tier delay, good damage, um, better than average, so that's that's sweet. Um, ooh, the counterfeit penny is a much better trinket. Counterfeit penny will, if you pick up a coin, it might pick up multiple coins. Sometimes it'll do two instead of one, so that's very good. Meconium, I think I believe that was a spawn from them. Ooh, they had I'm going to use the prayer card. This one gives you an eternal heart. If you have two on the same floor, you get a full red heart container. If you use it but right before a floor, after a boss, you end the floor with a red heart, or uh, the eternal heart, excuse me, you will start the next floor with a red heart container. So we're gonna do that right now. Since we're low on HP, I am I'm okay with getting red hearts instead of soul hearts. We will go back through this this uh through this floor and look for tinted rocks because we have two bombs. Want to get some soul hearts to preserve our devil deal. And there we go. Okay, torn photo. Cheers and shot speed. That's very, very good early on. Let's go look for a tinted rock. We need to be able to find one. Let's see, Curse of Darkness sucks. There we go. We need to be able to find a tinted rock so that we can have black hearts, soul hearts, excuse me. If we had black soul hearts, that'd be good too. If we have the regular soul hearts or black soul hearts, they'll preserve our chance of getting a devil deal. If you take red heart damage on the second floor, you lose your owl. And if you see right there, if you take a hit while you have a half eternal heart, it will you'll lose it. I didn't take any red heart damage, but I did lose the I did lose the eternal heart. That's okay because we're going to get it a full charge back right here. I'm going to take the hit here. Yeah, definitely worth it. I'm going to use the internal heart again, the prayer card, excuse me. Okay, there's got to be... I mean, there's just got to be a tinted rock somewhere. I'm just not seeing. No. That's great. No money. So the secret room's here. Let's hope there's a soul heart in there. Really? Oh, yeah, there's a pot right here, so that makes it so there, there definitely isn't a, a secret room there. 
Huh. Well, should have double checked. That's my bad. No. All right. So we'll just go on to the next floor, I guess. Alrighty. So we got another full heart container. Very good, but we need a soul heart before we get in trouble. Oh, and it looks like we also started with uh, the Harlequin baby. It shoots a, a split shot. Can be good. It's not great, but it's fine. I'm gonna use Bomb here for seven cents. It's definitely worth it. Might be the secret room there. Be worth exploring later. You don't wanna use your bombs up before you have confirmation that you can get something better for it. So there's no use risking, oh man. I do not like this room. Definitely do not like this room. I'm gonna get out of this room. Oh, there's a, of course there's a tinted rock in a place where I can't access it. Wow, nickel paying out. And again, every time we pick up money, uh, Counterfeit Penny has, gives it a chance to get more of that money. Also drops these, I believe. Maybe that might just be a normal poop pile pickup, but I believe it also increases that spawn. Man, just nothing. Sticky bombs. That's fine, that's not really what we're looking for here. So you can see a tinted rock in there. Oh, yep, and we're gonna lose our devil deal. Gonna take a hit there. I should not have put myself in that position, but it's just not prepared. So there we go. Devil deal is now 36% chance, and of course you find a tinted rock here. We have two soul hearts. Wonderful. So we do have a chance of getting a devil deal, but now it's not 100%. So let's hope. Otherwise, we have to wait until next floor to get a devil deal. Oh man, we'll use the prayer card. It's good to get some HP stockpiled early on. Okay, I'm gonna use the temperance machine here and get some money. It always takes red hearts first, so don't worry. If you have full red hearts, you can get money out of that first. Um, and then I'm gonna bomb this. I'm gonna take the nine volt. Oh, I, I forgot I had <laughs> I'd used the prayer card. Let's see, do we want the broken? I don't want the broken stopwatch. The broken stopwatch is better. I do want the blanket. Counterfeit penny already coming up huge. We had enough to buy two premium items early on. Don't want that. Not as good as counterfeit penny, that's for sure. Here we go, fighting Monstro. Let's hope we get our deal with the Devil. We increased it to 46% by blowing up that Keeper, uh, but I'm not very confident that we're going to be able to get a Devil deal here. Anything below 50% is essentially zero in Isaac. It's just kind of how it works. Here we go. I'll be dang. And wonderful, it's a not devil deal, devil deal. What I mean by that is there are no items you can trade for HP. So this will not lock in a deal with the devil chance. This will simply, oh man. I mean a ton of HP, that's excellent. But we're not going to be able to, in fact, now that we have that, I'm gonna go into the cursed room. We just will have a chance at getting an angel deal instead of a devil deal now, and that's not really what we want. I mean, the, the last episode we had a crazy angel deal run with Godhead, and that was awesome. But I don't want that every time because we're not going to get Godhead every time. I'm going to take a chance here, see if there's a secret room here. There's not. More than likely the north of this room. Why not? Let's take a pill. Well, let's take another pill. Something's wrong. Alrighty, so going to the next floor with a lot of HP. The reason I went to the cursed room, besides wanting to find a devil deal item, 
um, is that we're going to, since we use the prayer card, we're going to get a full heart container, which will eliminate one of our soul hearts anyway. So it's good to just go check. That way we're not losing anything. There we go. Okay, Curse of the Maze. Start this room. I don't think I'm gonna use the prayer card anymore unless we get a devil deal again. So I don't think we're gonna need the heart containers. I'm gonna wait on that. Whoops. Did we hit there? That's alright. Alrighty, wow, Curse of the Maze just skipping us into this room to the south. Actually was going to go that way anyway, but. Oh my goodness. Just playing leapfrog over this room. Oh, why not? Why not? Oh, I'm, just, I'm just feeling like pills today. Well. Didn't mean to take a hit there, but again, with all that HP we got from the non Devil Deal Devil Deal, thank you, Satan. Satan can never be relied upon. <laughs> well, those Devil Deals do give you some really good items. There we go. Harlequin may be actually doing some pretty okay damage. Not the best follower, but could be could be a lot worse, that's for sure. And we're gonna get two soul hearts out of this room. Tinderdock's really paying out for us. And didn't need to get hit there, but that's alright. Got so much HP, it just doesn't actually matter at all. Take that, because I don't really want to come back and have to pick it up if we take a hit somewhere else. Let's just pick it up now and not take a hit anywhere. Better plan. Not getting hit is always your best plan, honestly. It sounds stupid, but if you just plan on not getting hit, then you're going to be fine. Got ourselves varicose veins. When we take damage, we'll leave a creep trail. Well, and do a little um, sad tear shot. If you didn't see, it did a, a burst of tears. Bomb these just in case we can crawl space. Oh my goodness. Well, this is excellent. I'm gonna take this car battery double charge. So if I used it right now with the car battery, what it would do it if I use the prayer card, it'd give us another red heart container full. Um, that's just the way it works. It does the it does your ZL item twice instead of once. So really, really nice. Um, but I don't want the red hearts. In fact, I want to pick up starter deck and then hopefully we can get another ZL item. I'm not super convinced we'll be able to get enough money to get another premium item here, but that's okay. When I say premium items, I do mean the ones in the shop that cost 15 cents or if they're half price, 7 cents. Just the ones that are, are big name items, stuff like that you would find in an item room. I'm going this way just to find a penny. That's all I'm looking for right now is a penny. A single penny. Well, didn't mean to get hit there. Doesn't matter. Man, no, no penny drops, huh? No one wants to drop a penny for me. I'm gonna use the prayer card just to show you. Car battery does two instead of one. Get some HP, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm just taking so many hits here. I just. It doesn't matter. Take a pill. Bested. No penny drops at all. Where am I. Where is this path even going? Just leading to a dead end? A mini boss, maybe? Oh my goodness. I thought I'd killed that champion. Oh, and then he just lands on me. Okay, time to reel it in. 
Not a single penny dropped anywhere. I'm clearing all these rooms for nothing. Wow. I could not find a penny anywhere. I have to go all the way back if I want to look for a penny. I do want to go back. I think it's worth it. Starter deck gives you the ability to hold two cards instead of one, and it turns all pills into cards for the rest of the run. Let's go fight the Dark One. If we get a Devil Deal, I might use the prayer card again, so we can get a free HP container to trade. Oh, Blanket saving us a hit there. Blanket gives you a soul heart when you acquire it, and then it gives you the Holy Mantle effect for the boss room. Just for the boss room. So you get one free hit in the boss. Man, give us the Curse of Darkness while we're at it. Do not like Dark One. Really annoying boss fight. No Devil Deal, and a range up. Wonderful. So I'm going to go back to this room way over here in the hopes that we can get one more penny. Our stats are looking pretty okay. Our damage, we really need more damage. Um, that is something that we absolutely need. And our, we did need some movement speed as well. We're fine on range. We're fine on tiers. Our tiers are actually really good right now. We're on the soft cap. Meaning that if we got another tiers up upgrade, um, a normal tiers up upgrade, we wouldn't be able to uh, get any lower. Only certain items will break the tiers cap and let you go below negative five. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get starter deck. Uh, unless we go to the secret room, which... Oh boy, I don't even know where it is. Could be the north of here. Let's try that. Yep, sure is. It gives us bombs. Liberty cap not as good. I'm going to... I'm going to fish for the magic mush here just for a little bit. Sometimes these spawn... Um, mushroom item upgrades. I don't know where the super secret room is, and I don't. Not gonna be able to get started deck, so we're just gonna head on down. And curse of darkness again. Wonderful. Okay, demon judgment. I need you to pay out big here, buddy. So you see if I'm doing this correctly? Oh man, potato peeler. <sighs> Sorry, that <laughs> blowing into a microphone is not a good idea. Um, oh man. Here's my dilemma. I am thinking about doing a level four meat boy and an orbital, but then I don't have anything to trade for a devil deal. So I'm gonna wait. In fact, let's use the prayer card, and let's for sure get an orbital. Oh yeah, it's going to give you a damage upgrade too. You know what? Let's just get ourselves a, a meat boy and a free orbital, and we'll keep the prayer card. How about that? Now we don't have to come back for it. That was actually a huge play. You see our damage went up to 5.7 instead of... 4.2, I believe. 4.21, maybe? I don't remember. So, kind of huge. Tap this one more time. The Demon Judgments, you there is an exploit you can do. Kind of an exploit, I guess. Where if you tap it, um, if you tap it again at the exact right moment, you can get two taps out of a single hit. Uh, you can't just hold it, I don't believe, unless you're up against something. Uh, but it'll do it two times for every one hit. So you, if you do it, time it correctly, you'll get two hits on a Demon Judgment instead of one. It can be very valuable. Didn't mean to take a hit there. I'm not going to go in the Cursed Room yet, just because we don't have a ton of HP. Oh, man. I'm taking way too many hits this run. I'm a little, a little flustered today, I think. That's when you reel it back in. You just say it's fine. Got to relax. Play it cool. That's how Isaac beats you. Tries to get you flustered. Flustered, frustrated. Something we've seen before. Yeah, poop puberty, alright. If you take three puberty pills, you become an adult. The adult transformation. And you get a, a red heart container. I think you get a little bigger, too. It's kind of like getting a strength card. Except without the bonus stats of strength. I think I'm going to use this prayer card. We're going to try and get another full charge before... 
the boss room just in case we need it. Oh man, this room is horrible. Luckily we've got a lot of range. So we can just kind of snipe from afar. The damage is good enough. We have an orbital. Level 4 Meat Boy is very good. I am tempted if we don't get a devil deal on this floor, which we definitely should with 85% chance. Um, I am very tempted to... Um, oh yeah, I'll definitely take this. Cool bomb. I'm tempted to use the potato peeler again and get another level 4 meat boy. It's a pretty risky move. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I want to keep him for devil deals. But you could do that and get multiple people running. It can be very, very good. Multiple meat boys can do a lot of damage, and every time you use the potato pillar, you get a small damage upgrade. Okay. Okay. Taking too much damage here. Find our shop. Luckily, it's over here. I'm going to take this for sure. Don't need that. 90% devil deal chance. I don't think I've ever seen it that high. Treasure map's very good. I'm gonna buy this. The Hierophant. Yeah, there we go. Two soul hearts from the Hierophant. Mama Mega is tempting, but no. Use the Hierophant here. That three cent full charge is a full heart container. So I'm actually gonna wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna do two hearts here. I'm gonna get two full heart containers. Thanks to car battery, we're getting a full heart container for free every time we charge it up, and another one for three cents here. That is huge. I would like Nightlight. That dispels Curse of Darkness and does a slowdown for enemies, but we don't need it. Curse of Darkness isn't horrible. Let's just go get this Devil Deal. 90% chance. Oh, wow. What is this room? This room is bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen this boss room. I have, it was a long time ago. There we go. Um, I'm going to wait on Super Bandage. I'll get it on the way out. Yeah, I'm going to take both of these. So this is where Prayer Card can be potentially huge. We can just keep generating Red Hearts to trade for Devil Deals. Since this run is taking a little longer anyway, I'm going to run back. Well, we've got free bombs. And I can go to the Cursed Room with all this HP, I'm just gonna do it. I'm going to check to the right, right here. I'm gonna see if this is a flat wall. It is, this might be the secret room. It is, now we can get in for free free. And the Black Lotus, oh my goodness. This is a huge HP get. HP up times three. Gives you one of each, a black soul heart, a regular soul heart, and a red heart. Oh, there we go. Thought I was gonna hit this, but we got gold bombs, it doesn't matter. Free key. This one's essentially free, because it costs a key to get a key. Use the bomb here. Man, I could get another meat boy. <laughs> I think I'm going to. <laughs> get a bunch of money first. I can just keep generating red hearts. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get another level four meat boy and an orbital. Why not? That was a big play there. It got a lot of damage. Two level four meat boys and still have the cube of meat orbital. Man, we used the cube of meat, not, or the potato peeler nine times. If you have blank card and um, strength, you can do that exploit because it gives you a red heart container upon using the strength card you can use that with the potato peeler but to do that you have to have blank card strength you have to be able to hold two items at the backpack like, not super feasible all the time but it is a cool thing that you can do
No, whoops. The, so, as you see there, that, that enemy got turned into a poop pile when it touched me. That was from the E. coli upgrade. Turns them into piles of poop if they touch the body, their Isaac's body. Can be very valuable. I'm guessing the shop or the the item room is up here to the right. Almost definitely not the boss and is not his item room. That's good. I'm gonna guess it's a greed fight. Just got that feeling. Let's use the prayer card. Can't believe the prayer card's coming in so well. It's like I usually don't really like the prayer card. Ooh, trinket smelter. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna take trinket smelter. So this will use, it'll be like a gulp. Use the trinket smelter, your trinket will disappear and you always, you inherently get that trinket's um, ability for the rest of the run. And you can do this over and over again. So I might do that, we'll see if there's any other trinkets we need. Oh, mom's box. Whew. That is tempting, that spawns a trinket. And while you're holding it, like doubles the effect of the tr what the trinket does. But I'm gonna get more options. Might be a bad thing since we only have two more item rooms, but it'll give us two item pedestals every time. I'm gonna buy this card. Okay. Give us two item pedestals in the item room instead of one. Let's go back. I don't think the item room is here, but let's check it. No, it's not here. Okay. It's probably this way. I'm gonna say that it's this way. The little trinket that I picked up there extends the stat time of various effects. So if I use something, I believe like Arrowwalk, this card that slows down um, enemies, it will do it for a longer duration. Still got one black skull dude running around. There we go. Yep, item room is here. That's good. So now we'll always have the counterfeit penny. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I bought more options there because it gave us Sack Dagger. Sacrificial Dagger is an incredible orbital. Now we have two we can use offensively like this. It does a ton of damage. Um, it's it's incredible. And having two Meat Boys with two orbital and two orbitals is kind of insane. I'm not going to use the prayer card yet. Just in case we're not able to get rid of the red hearts. But if we get a devil deal, then I'll maybe use it. Man, yeah, Sacrificial Dagger just doing some work there. It's really good to use your orbitals offensively if you can. Alrighty, I think I'm just good with going down. I'm going to try and book through the rest of this run here. Just so I don't take up a ton of time. Mine or yours. <laughs> Keep on moving. Again, I'm not going to use the prayer card yet. Unless I have a way of getting rid of the red heart HP. I don't want to stockpile a bunch of red... <sighs> just, just in case we can't get rid of it. I don't want to... Okay, Sphiric Acid's very good. I'm going to take that for sure. I almost accidentally took Shielded Tears. That's going to give us a slight damage upgrade, and it will open up secret rooms with the Sulfuric Acid Tears. Those are the yellow ones that are spawning. It'll open up uh, secret rooms. It'll blow up rocks. I'll show you what it does. It just destroys rocks. Maybe if there's a secret room here. There it is. It'll open secret rooms. I believe it'll destroy keepers. No, maybe it won't. It will destroy mushrooms, though. Now we can fish for me- oh, well. Got a little too close. Fish for magic mush here. And do it for free. Our tears are so high that it's gonna proc. Oh, there we go. See, sometimes it'll spawn something like mini mush. Give you speed and range up, said, but give us a range down. That's all right. We didn't need a ton of range. We had probably a little too much range anyway. So it's not a big deal. This is probably a greed fight. No, on our last store, we still don't get a greed fight. Okay. Not bad. If we can get PhD, I would love that. Make all pills uh, good or neutral pills. Oh, man. First the maze just took us up and I, act I was moving too fast. I accidentally went into the spikes there. Oh my, what? 
Why is it making us redo this room? Oh, I know what happened. I used the sulfuric, the sulfuric acid tears also open up doors. I accidentally went through a door without finishing the room. I didn't realize I hadn't. That's why that procked. Curse of the Maze just, just screwing us over royally right now. It's really not good. Oh my goodness, did not see him at all. My meat boys just stood there. Hopefully going to be able to get rid of this red heart HP on this floor. Um, if I can, I might dump prayer card for something else. We'll see. That is, if we can get another ZL item somewhere else. I doubt it. Use this. It's worth it. And we're going to fight Mom here. There we go. So the red foot drops quite a, quite a, uh, frequently really fast. Um, that's red variant of mom, red champion mom. If you have stack dagger, just nuke her. Take the pole right here. We're not strong enough to do any other run. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the play. I'm going to show you something cool. So if it, we only have one red heart, and it's a two red heart uh, pickup, you can take it for, for one. It's essentially free. So I'm going to use this prayer card and get this one as well. So instead of using it before, I used it after and got them both for the same price. So the nail gives us a damage upgrade, a speed down, and a one soul heart for the room. And I'm going to take that for the rest of the run. There, but that's all right. Not a huge deal. We've got the nail that will give us a free soul heart every time we use it. It is a big charge item, but. Sorry about that, just had a random call on my phone. It was a Hawaii number. That did not seem likely that anyone in Hawaii is calling me, so. Got a random call there and I need to let in my dog, so that'd be a good time to pause. I'll probably edit out most of that anyway, but in case I don't, in case I forget and I just upload the video, I'll close that for a second. <laughs> Keep it going here. I'm gonna check this just in case it's an item. I'm glad we were able to get a lot of use out of that prayer card and the car battery. It's really nice. Oh, excellent. I didn't even think about it. The car battery will make the I probably didn't even just didn't even notice it, but the car battery probably gave us two two soul hearts instead of one. 
is the car battery uses your ZL item twice. So we're, we're actually in super good shape. Now we're getting two, two HP every time we use it. Luck upgrade there. Sulfuric acid just saving us the trouble of using bombs. Just busting through obstacles and everything. Really, really nice. So now we use it, yeah, two soul hearts. And an HP upgrade for the room, so, or uh, the damage up for the room, excuse me. Um, I maybe should have saved it for the boss, but I really didn't want to waste a full charge like that, so. Man, and we're just getting soul hearts everywhere. I must have accidentally hit a tinted rock without noticing. Oh, do not grab the tick. That will stop your... Stop you from being able to pick up any other trinkets. So you don't want that to happen. I'm gonna go do a random room. Oh, let's pick up the tick again. Just so we can get a full charge for the boss room. Not that room. So we can use the nail to get the damage upgrade. We got a little brimstone that can do some work for us from afar if we need him to. Okay, here we go. The tick is useless. Never, never pick up the tick. Unless you've got the matchstick nearby and you just want to have a good laugh. Don't want that. There's not a guarantee we'll get a devil deal. Matriarch, I'm going to use Arrowwalk for this. I'm not going to use the nail yet, just in case we take damage, which is very likely. Yep, like that. Pole red kicking in. Get our damage upgrade, we'll get chub here. Voila, one of the hardest bosses turned into cake. Oh, okay. Well, nothing good in the devil deal anyway. We could go pick up that eternal heart, but now it's even less likely that we're gonna see a devil deal. We'll take mom's purse. We did find a couple pills that were good. A couple luck ups, okay. Ah, oh, perks. Perk kill is very good. Full health doesn't do anything for us. Let's head on down. I'm gonna skip this floor really fast and just conserving some time. I'll curse the lost. Wonderful. Let's skip the floor transitions for the rest of the run just so we can get through them a little quicker. There we go. Champion just did not want to die. I'm gonna check out this room. Very odd room. Ooh, flat penny will give us keys. You don't soup. Oh my goodness. I think it's actually a better trinket than the stop watch hand. I'm gonna grab that one just so we can get a, an abundance of keys in case the chest pays out with a lot of them. Gives us lots of item chests. I'm gonna save this for now. <laughs> use sulfuric acid tears to get out of that room. So I, c I could just rush out of these rooms by doing this. Use the nail, get our HP back. Full charge, I'll be fine. Come on, proc! With the luck upgrades, we're gonna see the sulfuric acid rocking a lot more. Just gonna skip this room. Sulfuric acid's a huge upgrade, especially with high tiers. Then you can skip rooms for free. Let's go fight, it lives. Blanket coming in clutch for us. Not me for that. I'm gonna pop the nail here and just nuke mom with the sack dagger. We'll head on up. Going to the cathedral now. Good, we've got the map. Curse of the Unknown. So we don't know how much HP we have, but we do. We have full HP. So we can afford to take hits just fine. We can afford to do a lot of stuff. We could be really dumb with this run. Uh, just having a car battery and... Uh, the nail 
means this one is this run is has been won for a long time. Uh, but that just solidified it for sure. Let's skip this room. You can skip. You can open doors like this all the way uh, to the chest. The chest you cannot skip anything. So don't don't go into the chest trying to bomb your way out or use sulfuric acid tears. It doesn't work. Don't need any money. There's no reason to money now. No reason to go into the cursed room. We're just gonna fly through this and get ourselves a win. Don't even need keys anymore. Well, take a hit there. That's right. Use this. Might as well get back to full health. If you're wondering how I know where the boss is, it's just pretty natural. If you look at this map, it is very likely that it's this way, and I got to explore the other sides. You could see where a boss potentially would be, but wasn't because you didn't see it on the map when you proc the room right before it, so. Here we go, Isaac. We're gonna proc the. We're gonna be very uh, sack dagger heavy here because it'll block shots. We've got the blanket. Got the meat boys doing damage here. Man, just doing some huge damage. Our movement speed's so good. Even after proccing uh, the nail. Take this full charge and head into the chest. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Midas touch, interesting. So Midas touch, items or enemies can sometimes turn into, they'll, they'll go gold if they touch you. And if you kill them while they're gold, they drop coins. And how to jump doesn't do anything for us, but we could find some pills here that might be good. I, I could show you what puberty three times does, but I'm not going to, because I don't wanna don't wanna get the red heart now. So we have Polaroid invincibility. Every time we take a hit, we'll get the Polaroid shield. Maybe I'll go back and pick up the puberty pill and I'll show you what it does. We'll take three of them after we've gotten the blue baby. Mongo Baby is going to mimic Harlequin Baby. It does not mimic Brimstone. So Mongo Baby just copies one of the familiar's um, shots that they do. It does not copy Brimstone. No, not stupid. It's another Midas Touch ability. It drops all these right here, and it's just going to proc a ton of coins. Which are going to in turn proc keys since we have Flat Penny. Go to Bobby, why not? We've got the Conjoined Transformations. So now we're spinning three shots at a time. Not the best transformation, honestly, but it could be. Worse. It's very interesting. It does uh, a shot directly out in front of you, and then two diagonal shots as well. Um, the only thing that could be. Oh, let's check this box. The only thing that is not great about it is that it slows down your tears. Like, you got tears down. Just one. So we went from five to six, which is not bad. I'm going to take. See what this is. Sure, big beautiful fly. You can fly around too. We're just going to take every item we find, even if it's not great. Well, I probably won't take Cursed Eye if we find it, because Cursed Eye is horrible, but... Cursed Eye can teleport out of rooms, so we don't want that. Especially not when we're fighting kid with uh, Blue Baby. There we go. We're going to get the nail. Fully charged the fourth and final room. One too many hits, but it still doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, dead eye. Excellent. Alright, let's pop this and let's just go in. Let's go hard here. Doesn't matter. Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Join the Nap Fam. Uh, have a wonderful day. We're not going to go fight Delirium. I hope everything's going well for you and thank you again.